last for 2070 and I've noticed when I'm trying to film with my new glasses on yeah I can see the light uh, to try and uh, see that so I'll take those off for this one because I won't need them to read for this announcement but as you know we're in between events right now we've just finished the Lunar New Year event I'm going to share with you how we've done on that one because we've had some amazing successes on the Lunar New Year and we're going to also do an evolution as well as part of this edition we're going to talk through the Valentine's Day event as well but actually let's start there now announcement on the screen so this year's Valentine's Day event will be starting on Thursday February the 10th at 10 a.m and I'll be running through to Valentine's Day at 8 p.m local time it's going to be an interesting one because we get some new Pokemon making their debuts on it as well a Flabbebeb <laughs> I'll get this right Flabbebee Floet and Florgers or Florgers will be making their Pokemon Go debuts and for the duration of the event you'll also be able to change natural form fur through into heart trim fur through. So another chance to spend some candy and some stardust to evolve into a different fur through. But easy, excellent throw. So hopefully we'll get a few fur through spawning. So let's jump into the actual details of this said event because it will be here by the time you're watching this vlog very, very quickly. So Flabbebe, Floet and Florges, that's how we're going to pronounce them, will make their debuts in Pokemon Go. They come in five different colours, that's red, yellow, orange, blue and white. We will be getting certain ones in certain areas, which we'll explain in a bit, but basically you can evolve Flabbebe into Floet with 25 candy, and Floet can evolve into Florges with 100 Flabbebe candy. After you have 20 hearts of it, you have to walk a bit, build that friendship up, to do that. So the event has two times alert module bonus or two times alert module duration. Taking your buddy Pokemon will bring you items more often, so that's cool. And you'll get two times catch candy for this event. So there'll be a global Valentine's challenge as well, which will give us three times to transfer candy, but we need to send 70 million gifts to unlock that. There'll be a new challenge form which we've spoken about in the overview of this event. Heart Trim Fur Fruit will be there. You need to start with it in its natural form, select it the one you want in your Pokemon storage and then tap the change form button. That mechanic is coming back into the game and that is 25 for free county and 10,000 starters if you want to burn the stardust on a good one for this Valentine's event. There'll be collection challenges as well. There'll be two Valentine's Day themed collection challenges similar to what we've had on the so uh, on the Lunar New Year events. So that's interesting and you'll get a female finish and a male finish for completing that. Exciting stuff. Maybe good. But it won't be good for GBL because the base stats will not be good for that. Uh, special attacks that we learnt during this event. You can avoid Curlia during the event to get Gallade or Garnet rather than those a charge attack synchronise. And um, basically, after they've been encountered, after raids will also know synchronise. So basically, it'll keep that move set. Okay, uh, wild encounters for the event. So basically, where we are in Europe, we'll be getting the red flower, Flabby. <laughs> Blue flower will be in Asia Pacific, and yellow flower will be in the Americas. However, there will be orange and white ones available wherever you are in the world. So you should be able to get nine of these, three of each colour, wherever you are in the world. So that's good. Some great trade value there for future events, I think. Unless they mix them around like they do sometimes with the regionals. But if you're lucky, you might encounter white flower, Flabby, and orange flower. Flabberbee, that's a mouthful, no matter what region you're in. Chansey Prusel, Min and Volbeat, Illumise, Love Disc, Wubat, will all be shiny potentials in the wild. Red Flower, Flabberbee, and there's the blue, the yellow, and the natural fun. So it is there in the wild with those excellent curveball throws. If you're lucky, you might encounter Miltank, or Dino, Alamomola, and the white and orange flower, Flabberbees. The first three can be shiny. I need shiny Alamomola still, so there's something for me to go for on this event. One star raids, Miltank, Roselia, or Dino, a natural form of fur through in the three star. Don't get me start on one star raids, by the way. But what is the point of those one star raids? I spoke about this on Incense Pokemon Go podcast. It was my big question. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with one star raids? If you do, fair play. But is anything in there? Full odds Miltank, full odds Roselia, full odds or Dino, maybe? I, I think there's a waste there of passes, but let me know what you think. Uh, three star raids, Nader Queen, Nader King, Licky Tongue, God of Rock, Gallade, Licky Tongue can be shiny. And five star raids, see Red is still exciting stuff there. Uh, and Mega Raids, Mega Hand, Doom. Field research task encounters can give you encounters with Pikachu, Eevee, Love Disc, and Routes. There's Love Disc, all can be shiny. And if you're lucky, you might encounter Frillishes, Alamola, and Spinter with the Heart Pattern, which can be shiny. But that's one I really want to go for. That's exciting. There'll be new avatar item stickers and bundles. And that is the Pokemon Co. Valentine's event details. 
Well, overall, there's something to go for on that one, I think, personally. But let me know, is there anything that you're really excited for? So let me tell you something that exciting that happened last night. And then we're going to go back to the previous event. R2, the old lady, as I always call him, R2 the oldie. <laughs> You'll love that. Sent me a timber raise and I got my third shiny timber, which is amazing. And with it, my strongest one yet, 1313. And I think it's a 14. I'm going to quickly do some evolutions on these ones because this is something that I've wanted for a long time. I'll show you my little list. There they are, all three of them, three shiny timbers. Let's just check the stats on that to make sure we evolve the right one. This one is not a new one, I get it, but it's certainly one that I want to do. So let's evolve this one because this will be a shiny family complete for me, a brand new shiny family. For me, that's amazing. Did you manage to complete any shiny families recently as well? Because I'd like to hear from you all. I know it's been a few days since I posted the last vlog. To be honest with you, that's a good shiny, Gerda. Now, I'm a little bit mixed up because I don't like Concorda as, as, a, um, as a Pokemon. I think it just, just scares me a little bit. But anyway, we will fully evolve it for the purpose of this vlog because we need to do that. So that's really cool. There is a shiny family completed. <laughs> In Pokemon Go and I think you'll join me in thinking that's really really amazing actually if have you completed your shiny timber family I have now thank you for inviting me to that raid last night that was much appreciated so that is done and then I'm going to talk you through my event because we had a very very good event we got not just one not just two but we got three shiny little Leos for the Loom event that, they were the only shines we got but they were full lots I've been led to believe so I'm very happy with that one but they were all female ones so we're going to evolve the one that's got the best pvp stats because it isn't going to be any good for pvp but i think it's the right one to evolve so we will have the female evolved no, we'll have, yeah we'll have the female evolved form and we'll have the base one and i've got a spare shiny female litlia for anyone who's got a spare male litlia which was the rarest one to trade but there is pyro shiny and that's a lovely looking shiny but the male one has got a bigger mane on it and again, I'm very, very happy with that one. So another shiny evolution. And what was a really good event for me? What did you think about the Lunar event? Did you like the fact they dropped, they dropped the Lion Cub on the Year of the Tiger? I thought that was a very nice little twist. So Pokemon Go, as best Pokemon Go as you can do. Well, I did do some lucky trades. I'm going to show you my progress on the level 49 challenges. I did trans or did trade a Smeagol, a shiny Smeagol, and it turned out pretty okay, actually. That is my lucky shiny Smeagol. Yes. We're doing all right on that one. And I'll show you my progress very, very quickly because we are now on the XP grind to level 49. But we did the 50 lucky trades, which was amazing. It was a great opportunity to do the boosted lucky trades in that event. And we did the 10 that had to be over 300 kilometer distance for the second one. We're now sending the gifts to friends. And we got three platinum medals to get us to 35. And the ones I'm going to be targeting as a starting point because you need to start with some of the ones that are pretty easy or easier to do. For me, that is, we are going to focus very much on the raid experts. That is the achievement screen. We need to do another 83 to get that one platinum. I am going to focus a bit more on the trading. I should be better at that. So that's a little bit longer on it. And the other one that I'm going to be focusing on, certainly when we have the Johto event, is I'm going to be learning up some of the modules down at Ealing or the picnicker to help any trainer catch 500 Pokemon. So that is one I'm going to take advantage of, you know, I think it's in a couple of weeks' time. And then hopefully we'll have all those done. So we'll quickly do some shiny shirts, and that is it. That is a wrap for this one. It is a very quick one, talking about the Valentine's event, talking about my Lunar event and how it did. So Grooves, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do the Drudagon raid because I haven't got any raid passes at the moment. The Drudagon is shiny, but still eludes me. But when it's a 1 in 150 chance, it's not that attractive to me anyway. Well, that's about I'm Asphalt 27. Catch you all soon. We have got Hop It Community Day this weekend. I will not be doing a vlog for that one. I'm actually going away for a lovely weekend. But I will be playing it a bit over that day. I hope you have fun. New shinies coming to the game ahead of the Johto event. Well, that said and done, I'm Asphalt 27. Thank you for checking out this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please do not forget to smash a big thumbs up to show some love and some appreciation. If you haven't got notifications, switch on. Make sure that bell icon's on so you don't miss any updates on the channel. Members of the Masterful Gang, thank you so much for all your support as always. And I say that, it means a lot to me. My Patreon members who take your support to the next level. I do post some little bonuses for you on the Patreon. Thank you so much. The link will have been posted in the description of this vlog and also during it. Well, that is it. 
But as you enjoy the Valentine's event, let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to the most on this event. And I'll catch up with you after Hop It Community Day. And we'll see how we do on that one. But good luck on that one. And Kanto, as I keep calling it, Johto is not far away. Exciting times for sure. Oh,